little bit obvious. This will be my first time doing this kind of color. It looks messy, but I'm gonna clean it up later. Can you hear the music? I've been playing that music every day. <laughs> That's why a girl needs so many brushes, cause <laughs> she needs it for every area. Taking this color and just blend it onto the crease. Sticking this bright champagne color. Highlight. And just go back in and touch up on the black color if needed. Use a little bit of the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner just to create the line first. Okay, it's not really that obvious because of the black eyeshadow over testing it. But in person, actually, it's really big. Going over with City Colors Liquid Eyeliner. I like this a lot. It really goes on nicely and looks very nice. It's really cold so I'm like all covered up. Wearing my grey sweater. I love this grey sweater a lot. I'm gonna use a little bit of gold glitter. Okay. Tap it on the green area and also the inner corner. Because I'd like to be using some gold glitter, some gold loose pigments on top of it. This is from NYX Glitter on the Go. So, yep, sparkling glitter powders. Been waiting to use this. It's really nice gold. So, I'm just take. Taking whatever's right here, just step it on. I'm so sorry if the camera isn't picking up exactly the color, but in person, actually there's like a lot that's packed on already. Oh, I forgot to mention. If you do want to play with glitter, always have tissue beneath so that, you know, <clears throat> most of it will just land on the tissue. I'm going to set the rest of my face using City Colors Mineral Powder, my e.l.f. powder brush. Magenta color. School under. We're done with that. Just line it with cold black pencil. Any black pencil of a choice. Mascara that I'm gonna be using is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm not gonna be using falsies this time. Don't feel like it. <laughs> Clean up a little bit more right under here. 
I'm gonna be using um, some more of the concealer from NYX. Okay, so this is what the eye here looks like. So I'm gonna get off camera and finish the other eye and then I'll come back and do the rest on my face. See you guys. I didn't really use much of makeup the past few days because I was like trying to let my face rest. I'm going in with um, my Radiance Powder from Face Shop. As you can see, I've already done my other eye and I've like tried to clean up my under eye area, you know, cleaning up here and there. And yeah, I've already primed my face, prepped my face, I've already added foundation. So, the foundation that I'm using. My L'Oreal Lucent Magique. This is in N2. This is what I use most of the time if I'm doing a heavier look or if I want like better complexion. So I hope that you guys had a beautiful, enjoyable and fun Christmas time. So fast, it just comes and go, huh? Um, City Colors Bronzer and my BH Cosmetics brush from the Berry set. It's gonna bronze my face, put some color. It's going in circular motion so that there isn't any harsh lines and that it spreads out nicely and easily. Looks good. We'll move on up to the mineral blush. In, uh, this is the peach mineral set as I mentioned on in my uh, unwrapping video if you guys have seen it. Cleaning off the bronzer. Okay, smile! And just dab upward motion so that the face looks lifted up and not like sagging sag down. Know. So, anyways, for this look, okay, that I did, um, I was challenging myself to use the colors that I hardly would ever use or would normally not dare to use even so because it's New Year's Eve New Year's Eve is just around the corner if I can get this up on time Anywho, even if I don't get this up on time okay this kind of look you can use it for any kind of party or event or function honestly it's not just for New Year's Eve I mean anyone can do any kind of makeup for New Year's Eve there are no fixed rules there's no fixed way so do it any way that you like, use whatever colors you like, use glitter, use body paint, use whatever that you like. As long as you're comfortable and you're out having fun, that's the most important thing. You want to use a red lip, you want to use a nude lip, or heck, even black lip, go ahead. So I'm just warming up like the rest of my face, because my face is horribly, terribly pale. I'm using the uh, highlight highlighting powder, Cup Geeks uh, angled contour brush. Just dab, dab on the areas that you want highlighted. Christmas. Christmas is 12 days. I love this mix that I found on SoundCloud. It's really nice. Dubstep style. I like this. So 
So what lip should I use? So you guys can actually opt for any kind of lips that you like but because I recently just got my Melt Cosmetics lip color, uh, I got two as I did mention, one is in Bane and the other one is Space Cake so I thought that I'd like to use Space Cake for this look I don't know Probably looks like very out of the way but hey it's New Year's Eve <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try this Okay, but you guys can use any kind of color that you like. Oh, by the way, this is one of their top lipsticks also. If you don't know Melt Cosmetics, I'll put a link below. And if you like really strong matte lip colors, okay, this brand is a really good brand to go and get. Okay, and if you like golf or you like space golf, you know, those kind of styles, this would be really good. really creamy. So after some cleaning up, this is the final look. But I don't want to use the typical red color lipstick or any other type. I have this color anyways. So I want to look a little bit different for New Year's Eve. Make it a little bit more special. Pair it with a beanie if you like. I mean, if you like. I'm definitely gonna pair it with this. It looks so much more different when you use a beanie. Walking in a winter wonderland. So that is it, guys. I hope that you like my video of this sort. Uh, it's definitely something not usual but then again honestly you don't have to do a typical look. You can just do whatever kind of look that you like for New Year's Eve or this look can be used for any kind of function as I said so I sure do hope that you guys are gonna have a great 2015. May lots of good things come for you. May you have a lot of uh, happy wonderful things you know. Um, Go for lots of holidays, have good food, you know, have a better working environment. I wish all of you a very, very good luck in 2015. And I hope you guys would give me a thumbs up for this video. You know, I hope you do like it, you know, it's something different. And um, yeah, hope to see you guys again 